With Typhoon Duxury on the horizon, Taiwan is bracing for impact. Travelers rushed back from the offshore islands on Monday ahead of the suspension of ferry services. In Tainan and Kaohsiung, farmers are hurrying to collect their crops before the storm. To minimize flooding damage, the Kaohsiung city government has prepared 160 water pumps and cleared out 20 detention basins. With the typhoon approaching, farmers in Kaohsiung Ziguan district are rushing to collect bok choy while the weather is calm. They fear losing their livelihoods. We will collect however much we can. If the floodwaters come and we can't drain it, we could lose it all. There are farmers willing to harvest. We'll use vacuum cooling. We've already set up the cold chain systems. Tainan is the biggest producer of avocados in Taiwan, and harvest season has just begun. With a typhoon on the horizon, farmers are speeding up crop collection. They secured avocado trees with metal pipes ahead of the storm. For us in Tainan, the wind will come in this direction, so we've secured the metal pipes on the north side. And it's not just farmers rushing to harvest. Kaohsiung's Water Resources Bureau is preparing for the typhoon. It's lined up 160 portable water pumps and emptied out 20 detention basins. Over in Taidong, travelers hasten to return from Green Island and Orchid Island before ferry services are suspended. We only had the chance to enjoy the sea. We didn't get to go to see some of the sites. We had to cut the trip short by a day and a half. I was going to come back on the 28th, but there will be no ferry starting tomorrow. So we decided to come back a few days earlier. I would rather come back than stay on the island without a way out. Ferries between Taidong, Green Island and Orchid Island will be suspended from Tuesday to Thursday. According to the Coast Guard Administration, 953 travelers returned to Taidong from Green Island Monday morning. 447 returned from Orchid Island.